Hi, I am John Hill Pador, BSHM1C, and I am here to present to you on how to plan your infographic design. First, find a story. In every set of data, there is a story before you begin designing infographic. Think of the story you are trying to tell. The angle you choose will help you determine which information to include. For example, this infographic design tells the story of, comple of completing projects from start to finish. Because infographics allow the limited space of con for content, the purpose of your infographic should be focused. That's why the layout of your infographic should not only reflect the theme of your information but also enhance the communication of it. Create an infographic outline. Before diving into your design, create an infographic outline so that everything is organized. This includes your headers, data, and any design details that you don't want to forget. Write a compelling title. Come up with a title that is catchy and descriptive. Readers should get a sense of what the information will be to engage them and make them want to read further. So in short, having a catchy title will gain more readers. Hi everyone, I'm Jan Paul Arlesario and I'm going to discuss about grid design or wireframe. Use a grid design or wireframe for infographic design. Grids and wireframes are the structural base to any design. Designing on a grid allows you to easily organize elements and information. Grid designs also play an essential role in keeping objects and elements aligned. For example, when aligning items, you can reference the same vertical grid line and then space each list item accordingly. The image that you see shows how color palettes are aligned on a graphic design grid. Vengage Editor also has the option of using smart guides which help align items for you automatically without using a grid design tool. For infographic design, use a grid design system to create margins. It's good practice to keep enough space in between your elements and the edge of your canvas to avoid visual tension. An infographic design can potentially have any size of margin you desire but it's important to keep the margin consistent all the way along the edge of your canvas. A good rule of thumb is to keep all objects and elements at least 20px or px or pex away from the edge of the canvas. Use the right infographic layout for your data. For example, you could use a one column layout for a minimal or create a list infographic by splitting the layout into two columns like in these examples. Follow data visualization best practices. Always start your infographic planning with a pen and paper. This way, you can work through concepts and designs roughly before finalizing a digital copy. So guys, ang akong nga topic is choose the best chart type for your data. So, una-una anay, nang we need to determine what kind of chart or what kind of data you want to represent. And then, if na-determine nyo lon, we will proceed to, to how to make a best chart. Uh, example, if you want to show, uh, show trend and patterns in your data chart, you may choose line chart. And then, step on how to make a best chart. First, make sure that the chart has a clear purpose and audience. Two, use a text label 
text and labels to clarify, not clutter. And then, highlight the important information or differentiate and compare. And then, use a white background para hindi lang magamit iba nga kulay, white langged. And then, use a simplicity in a design and use a pleasant color and ang hindi masakit sa mata nga color para hindi masyadong masilaw. Pasa nga tanawa ng inyong chart. Imaw lang ran and then, diba? Good day, I am John Kurt Bautista from BSHM1C. Today, I'm gonna talk about incorporated different Typography design element. Typography. Typography is a very important element for typography design, and your one way to explain your ideas and information when image, graphs, or icon can. That's why it's important to choose the best font for your data. That's being said, try to limit the amount of text include on your typography. The best typography have visual impact with the text acting as a secondary explanation for the visual content. This infographic design rel relies on icon, dates and headers with minimal explanatory text. And the seventh basic element of graphic design. Number one, color. Sir Isaac Newton is widely created with The use of photography in your infographic design. When we use photography in the photographic design, the photographer should be tricky to take shots in accordance to what is needed and suitable for the infographic. If there is no photographer available, be sure that the photos you use have a consistent style and lightning. Try to pick photos with the same lightning effects, backdrop, and same amount of dark areas. It's important to stick to, the, to a certain style of images that clear, clearly don't fit the set will distract from the information being communicated. If you're going for a simple modern use photography, use only images with flat color or white backdrops. If you're going to neutral newspaper approach, use only black and white images. Photos that take up a majority of space in your infographic which can direct from information. This issue can be solved by using a copying such as circle frames. Good day sir, I am Najan Ria from BSHM1C. Use contrast in your infographic design. Contrast create visual impact by placing two singularly different elements beside each other. If an infographic has a light background with a bold color, shape, or eyes are immediately attracted to the bold color. This allowed you to organize information by having a certain elements more prominent than others. Contrast using color. Color selection can have a big impact on your infographic design. Try pairing complementary colors to make our headline pop. One of my favorite comb combination is a dark, darker blue with a bright color like orange, we, which makes you head, headline stand out. Contrast using typographic sizes. A header is a usual, usually the large text on an infographic, followed by the subheader and then the body copy. The header should pretty much always be the larger, largest point sizes so the viewer knows the subject of your infographic right off the bat. Contrasting visual. Use a tinted image contrasted with a chart over top to add context. So now, let's discuss this topic. Create symmetrical and asymmetrical balance. So first, this symmetrical and asymmetrical are two types of balance. What is symmetrical? Symmetrical balance is when each side of composition has equal weight. Also, symmetrical is elements that are used in the composition are identical or almost identical both sides of the picture. Symmetrical balance is also called formal balance. In creating infographic, with usual balance give interest for someone who is seeing it. Balance infographic keeps the entire composition cohesive. So, here is the example. iPhone 6 iPhone 6S versus Galaxy 6 7. See the difference. 
other type of balance is the asymmetrical balance. So, what is asymmetrical balance? Asymmetrical balance is more natural and less uniform than the asymmetrical. It is difficult to visualize and more complex. The elements used are not identical on other side but are arranged in such a way as to create. It can create an infographic more dynamic. As you can see, the example. If you are creating timeline infographic, alternate text between both sides of the timeline for a balanced composition. As we see in the example, when we are creating timeline infographic, alternate text is present and the balanced composition. So creating infographic, we need to decide what was the color we'll use. So we can use two or three main colors and to use minor color for accents. Choosing color for creating infographic is very important because it depends on your infographic, the color you will use, you will choose. And take note, for using large amount of dark color or neon color, as they can be straining to the eyes when viewed on the web. Make sure there's cons consistency in your infographic design. So take note, Creating infographic is needed to be consistent in order to flow from the start to finish without hassle. We need to manage it by keeping the same style throughout the entire infographic to avoid looking cluttered and easier to read. So here is the example. Next, leave plenty of negative space in your infographic design. It means negative space is the blank space on the design. It is really important to have space in creating infographic. It is because when your design was crowded, the readers will not overwhelm and difficult for them to read. Creating space in your infographic allows readers to read consistent and understand it properly. Practice, practice, practice. In designing infographics, it is needed a time patience. We can take the time to create it for us to figure out if it is fitted or not. When you feel doubt of your design, just ask somebody for you to know or your design will be better or not. Just keep in practice, practice, and practice. Good day to everyone. In this topic, creating infographics for social campaigns, this topic will help us on how to make a good and interesting chart and to communicate information quickly and clearly. The goal of this topic is we need to learn on how to create the infographics for social campaigns and in, in a simple, simple and easy way to understand our topic. Simple yet creative and beautiful. That's all.